USA, the state of Virginia, Interstate I-81, showplace of a technically very demanding construction project. The full depth of asphalt in the right lane, the truck lane, will be completely removed and the subsoil stabilized. The milled material will be recycled and then again used as stabilized base material. The left, less utilized lane must be resurfaced to a depth of 7 inches. The technology, technology from Vierdkin. The constant increase in heavy transport vehicles, as well as the very high load weights of the trucks, have left deep scars in the pavement, and not only on the surface. Reason enough for the complete restoration of the right lane. Step 1. The lane is milled to a depth of 10 inches. Step 2. A lime binding agent is pre-spread. Step 3. The ground is stabilized to a depth of 12 inches and cut to grade. Step 4. The KMA recycled milling material is placed over the stabilized subgrade. Step 5. The asphalt wearing layer is applied. Vierkin large milling machines take over the first part of the construction project. The recyclable material is milled out in one pass down to a depth of 10 inches. Level Pro, the Vierkin leveling system takes over the operation and automatically controls the milling depth. The job becomes easier for the driver and the ground man. Due to the traffic situation, milling work is done at night. Interstate I-81 is one of the most important north-south connections in the eastern part of the United States. Trucks transport the milled material to a mixing place situated near the construction site. In the next step, a lime cement mix as a binding agent is pre-spread, thus preparing the surface for soil stabilization. To completely renovate the 43-year-old I-81, it's not enough to simply mill away the old surface and then install new surface and base layers. Because of the high number of heavy transport vehicles, a great deal is also demanded of the subsoil. The load-bearing capacity of the substrate can no longer be guaranteed and therefore also has to be appropriately restored. A WR2400 in operation, which homogeneously mixes the applied binding agent with water for preparation of the layers to follow. Working depth, 12 inches. Behind the WR remains a load-bearable, stable substrate, which is then compressed with compactors and subsequently leveled with a grater. In the meantime, utilizing a mixing plant set up directly at the construction site, a mobile Vierkin KMA 220, foamed bitumen is added to the recycled milled material, making it usable once again. The possibility of using the KMA right next to the construction site saves long transport routes, and this savings in construction time results in considerable reductions in costs. Trucks transport the prepared material back to the work area where it is applied in an 8-inch layer onto the stabilized subsoil and then compressed with tandem rollers. Finally, a layer of asphalt 2 inches thick is then applied. After the completion of the truck lane on the right, it's now time to restore the left lane. Because most of the traffic in this lane is made up of passenger automobiles and therefore the amount of wear is less, the measures to be taken are not as severe. After milling the surface to a depth of 2 inches and the pre-spreading of cement, a Vierkin 3800CR goes into operation. The Vierkin cold recycler mills out a 5-inch asphalt layer, then simultaneously mixes this milled material with foamed bitumen and cement. The recycled material is placed directly behind the 3800CR by means of an attached Fogola paving screed with tamper bar for pre-compaction. Final compaction is carried out using ham, tandem and rubber-tired rollers. As with the right lane, the final step is the application of a new asphalt layer. 
After the complete restoration, traffic can again resume on a road surface with optimum load bearing capacity. Virtkin, technologies for better roads.